Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss a very important standard in the area of quality management which is the ISO 9000 series. This web based course is designed to give you a foundation level instruction on the ISO 9000 quality management framework. The course has been broken down into six sections or modules, each designed to educate you on the need for and the benefits of ISO 9000. Module 1 will be an introduction module which will tell us what the standard is about, what the history and the governing body is, what is the standard recognition across industries and how this, how this standard has been evolved. Module 2 is about risk control and governance. This is a very important module in the entire framework. It will help you understand the basic crux of the model. Here we will learn about what is a risk, what is a control, what is governance of risk and control and how all of these three in conjunction influence a company's business strategies. Module 3 is about implementing ISO 9000 standards. How does a company implement the standard? Why does a company implement a standard? What is the effectiveness and advantages of implementing this particular standard? We will have a look at the companies who have been ISO 9000 certified. What are the different ways a company can implement the 9000 standards? What is an estimated time a company would typically need to implement the entire standard? And what are the certification agencies? Module 4 How to implement this standard? Here we will understand the basic model, the basic framework which the 9000 series suggests. In module 2 we have learned, we will learn about risk controls and governance. Here we will implement risk controls and governance. We will see how to monitor the implementation of risk and controls. We will see how it is reviewed after implementation and what the role of internal audit would be. Module 5 is about getting ISO certified. If a company wants to get ISO certified, what are the stages of certification it will have to pass through? After the certification, what will be the post implementation review and control measures? Module 6 will be our takeaway module. This will be a refreshment module. Here we will see what we have learned. We will get a refreshment of what we have learned in this entire course. And we will also discuss some learning resources which will help you to do some more research after this training is over. Let's get started. Module 1 History and Governing Body ISO 9000 series is basically a package of multiple, uh, multiple standards. It is a series, that's why it is called as a series of standards developed and published by the International Organization for Standardization that define, establish and maintain a quality assurance system for manufacturing and service industries. So basically the governing body here is the International Organization for Standardization which is the ISO. All of these standards are that's why called as ISO series. ISO 9000, ISO 9001, ISO 9002. These are the different standards, different examples of standards that we will have to study here. So what is ISO? ISO is basically an organization which develops and publishes international standards. It is headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. So it is basically an independent non-governmental organization made up of members from national standard bodies. The International Organization for Standardization or the ISO was founded on 23rd of February 1947. This organization promotes worldwide proprietary industrial and commercial standards. It was one of the first organizations who was granted a general consultative status with the United Nations Economic and Social Council. ISO is also the governing body for ISO 9000 and many similar standards across industries. ISO was initiated to facilitate international coordination and unification of industry standards. This means you may have multiple cases where you know you may have multiple uh, industries and you may have multiple standards different companies are following. So basically what ISO has done is it is it is responsible for the unification of industry standards. So if you have a manufacturing unit or if you are into a manufacturing company, you will have one standard, for example ISO 9001, 
which is a quality management system and it is widely accepted across across all other industries also so if i am a if i am a customer and i am coming to you for some services and you tell me that i am iso 9001 certified it gives me an assurance that yes this person this company has been iso 9000 certified so it is meeting the level of a particular industry standard that would give me an assurance of the quality that will be maintained with my services since its inception in 1947 iso has developed and published for a broad array of subjects more than 16500 international standards so looking at the number we can definitely gauge that we will have a standard for every particular service industry we will look at the name iso is derived from the greek word isos which means equal so we can also understand you know that the name has been given as a greek word which means equal means it is it is actually unifying the industry standards across the across the world 